everybody welcome back I've been on a bit of a hiatus um, because I've actually been very sick um, unfortunately sometime back in March I got the flu go figure I've had my flu shot but there was another strain of flu that was floating around that the vaccine did not cover and guess who caught it unfortunately since then um, I got over the flu just fine but what flu tends to do is bring in other little bugs and problems and that's what I've been dealing with so one of the complications I got was a little bit of bronchitis um, mostly it was in the right side of my trunk so I was having a really hard time kind of catching my breath and you know not choking to death um, in between trying to oh I don't know say five words so due to the bronchitis not being able to breathe very deeply and expel I developed a little bit of pneumonia in my right lung and from that I got a little bit of a condition called atelectasis uh, it's kind of a partial collapsing of the lung nothing like scary scary but can be scary and sometimes hard to get over um, some cases are severe enough where you do have to do like a chest tube to get it to open up but mine wasn't that bad so I've been on some pretty heavy duty steroids antibiotics all that kind of stuff and I've honestly I've just felt so meh with the world I didn't want to do anything so I didn't want to come and film um one it was hard to hold my uh, talk long enough to even be able to speak to film without choking to death fortunately that part has subsided um but I am like I said still a little bit short of breath so I might sound a little bit wheezy my voice might tend to get a little bit cracky in and out but I'm on the up and up I'm doing fine otherwise physically I am fine so even though I wasn't filming I'm still a procurer of products so today for you guys I have a big collective haul this haul began in the very beginning of probably April ish time during Alta's 21 days of beauty and this is going to take us right into the Sephora VIB so without much further ado let's get into this so I'm going to start off with the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty and what I picked up on that particular sale. And to be quite honest, it's not a whole lot. So none of the products really, either I already had them or nothing just really spoke to me. I didn't think 21 Days of Beauty was that great this year for the spring half, to be quite honest. Um, I was a little miffed about some things kind of I felt was a little bit misrepresentation of what it was that was going to be on sale. Um, so I didn't pick up a whole lot. But one thing I did pick up is the it cosmetic bye bye pores pressed powder this is just a really finely milled um semi translucent i'm not gonna say it's completely translucent it's marketed as translucent but it does have a bit of a white cast to it um so if you have a darker skin tone than me or you go a little bit heavy handed on it you're definitely gonna be able to see it on the skin but let me tell you it's so amazing to be quite honest I haven't picked up my Laura since I got this uh, for setting my under eyes and for just tapping it into where I have enlarged pores. My T-zone right here between my uh, eyebrows. Love this stuff. It's so amazing. I've heard so many things about this next product. Um, so many people just sing its praises. It is the Makeup Revolution Renaissance Flick Eyeliner. It's a felt tip liquid liner. Now I'm usually not the biggest fan of a felt tip because... I like my brush tips I like my Kat Von D tattoo liner to be honest but this is a really good liner and it's not a super hard felt tip it's really kind of soft so it does kind of contour like a brush tip would and I feel it performs like equally as well as a brush tip does the next thing is I ran out of my ABH brow gel so I went ahead and I just picked up a tube of the NYX control freak I find this to be almost an exact dupe of the uh, ABH brow gel. It's not as, like if ABH brow gel is super glue, this is kind of just like your regular glue. <laughs> so honestly, that's really the only differences between them. Um, this just performs a little bit not as stiff as the ABH does. I do prefer the ABH because it is very much like just putting super glue in my eyebrows they're not moving all day long but this does keep them pretty gosh darn well tamed so that's everything i got 21 days of beauty is just those three items i only went and shopped it one day which i believe now actually i think about it, it was in march i think it was like march 24th or something like that was the day that i shopped those but a few weeks later about two weeks later i needed to go into alta to pick up a few things so i purchased a lot more then first thing on my list and the main reason i went is my clarisonic i used the mia 2 it started singing me that little doodle telling me it's time to change the brush head so i got a new one of the radiance brush heads 
Now, I usually only buy these once a year because I get two of them and they do last me six months because I only use this at night. In that meantime, they have changed the design and the shape of the brush head. And I'm not quite sure how I feel about this one yet. Next thing I needed to do because it was just a little bit past the 1st of April, but we know that I purchased my mascara every three months regardless i purchase it four times a year and so april 1st usually denotes new mascara time and so i went ahead and i grabbed my two standbys that i always use the covergirl clump crusher water resistant for my lower lashes it is still to this day and i've tried a lot the only mascara on the planet that does not transfer my lower lash line and of course a l'oreal lash paradise uh, voluminous because i just i can't go without this mascara it's just so stinking good another thing i had to replace my good old standby this is the mario badescu facial spray with aloe cucumber and green tea this i love this facial spray it's just really really good stuff I had to replace it another thing i grabbed this is the cerave moisturizing cream i enjoy this for nighttime moisturizing it's a little bit too thick and heavy for my daytime moisturizing and it honestly it's a little bit too thick and heavy for the summertime in general but between spring um and then fall and on to winter this is really really good for me because it's super super duper moisturizing it's super super thick and emollient i can't use it by itself because it's just too hard for me to spread so i usually use this and i'll cut it with about three drops of uh whatever type of facial oil i happen to be using at the time and that makes this perfect i've been on the hunt for a really good lash glue um the best lash glue I think ever that was on the planet was the Revlon <laughs> Lash Adhesive. It was amazing and then they quit making it. Why? Because it was amazing because that's what they do. When we get something amazing in the world, they discontinue it. I went ahead and I picked up this Ardell Lash Grip. This is the clear brush on eyelash adhesive. Now there are several like this that are sold in like Walmart, Target and Walgreens, but it's not this one this one is the lash grip clear brush on eyelash adhesive that is infused with the biotin rose water and it's latex free they do have like i said other ones that are very similar to this but it's not this one this stuff is amazing guys point i'm trying to get to one other little thing that i grabbed when i was there i actually found this in the clearance aisle um you guys know i'm a sucker for fairy polish but this is the opi uh, infinite shine um, and I'd never tried this. This is like their gel. It's like a three step. It's like a base coat, this, and then a top coat. Uh, and this is step two, of course, which is the color. The name of this shade is, let me tell you about this color. And it was from, I believe, like the Peru collection or whatever collection it was that they were doing. So it's, let me tell you about this color. I love this color. Now I'm not doing it with all the steps. I have my own regimen of steps that I do to keep my nails looking fabulous. But I love this color and it was $3.50 on clearance. So I had to grab it. And then the last thing I picked up during that little haul was uh, some of the Clinique. Uh, this is a take off the day cleansing milk. Now I had never tried this before. And to be quite frank, I'm not sure I ever even noticed it before. And it wasn't where the rest of the take off the day stuff was. It was like over by itself over here, but they had like a whole row of them. So it's not like something that was limited edition or limited time only it's part of the regular line they just didn't have it where you would normally see it i don't that alt is a little strange the way they have things set up the milk comes in a form i appreciate which is a pump i know how well the balm was i said you know what hey i'm gonna give this a go if it's horrible i'll just take it back and then pick up the balm i love this this is amazing it is so good I would say especially if you have oily skin and you don't like to use the balm because it's you know kind of like almost like coconut oil like it's almost like in a solid form but once you rub it through it goes oil and really moves everything um this stuff is really really good it's got a moisturizing factor to it but a non-greasy factor to it and it wipes everything off of my face i use this for my first cleanse at night it is amazing next thing we went to go watch endgame and before we went there we stopped over at the tj maxx because i do like to stop at tj maxx from time to time one of the things here I got is the blush trio and this is in the one pool party and so you got these three little blush colors here and this one on the end do not let it deceive you it is the blush I am wearing now and it is in the shade blank I am freaking in love with this blush color 
it is so so stinking good now this one is matte and this one is matte the shade here cash the shade here pageant in the middle does have some silvery shimmery particles in it and they do come off a lot so if you don't like any glitters i wouldn't use that one but with the size of blush brush i use which is this one here it's a luxie i can just go dip dip I'm good. And then they did have a whole lot of uh, liquid lipsticks. And one of my favorite lipstick colors is American Doll. So I picked this up. I actually, I wear this quite often, but it's my daughter's who I steal. Now I have my own, so I don't need to hear no more of her flack. But it's the shade American Doll, which I'm wearing it now. Such a good red shade. I love this one a lot. And then I also picked up the shade Catnip. Um, it's just a really, it's one of my favorite kind of like mauve berry pinky type shades. It's it's a Layla shade. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I grab, plus the name of it's catnip and I just think that's adorable as ever. And I promise you we are almost over. That is everything I grabbed at TJ Maxx. Let's get to VIB. First things with VIB, it was a bit of a cluster this year. This is the first year I myself have had to deal with um, shipping issues with uh, the VIB sale. I shot both VIB every year plus if like last year they threw in an extra one I shopped that one too because you know that's when I'm getting my 20 percent off I want I'm putting my most bang for my buck I've been working on this cart since January so that when that sale hits all I go to do is hit checkout put in the code we're done <laughs> all my decisions have been made we're good to go this year it took it forever to ship for me I actually got this like 13 days after I ordered it and finally what happened was I ended up I was like okay well I always give them extra time for VIB and they even tell you on the website hey it's gonna take a while for you know VIB uh because it's VIB we've got a huge influx of orders coming in it's gonna take us some time to process and get everything out and I'm okay with that I'm okay but when I got to day number 10 I was like okay this is not okay anymore because my order just sit, is sitting there saying it's still processing um, and I'm like, okay, what the heck? So I emailed them and then I got a shipping notification like a couple hours after I emailed them. Um, you know, I got a shipping notification, let me know that my order was shipping and it would be here probably Monday. Then I got an email back from them saying that they did apologize, that my order has been set out to ship and that they gave me a $10 credit. And when I got my box here, um from fedex it was actually overnighted so i'm sitting there thinking was this box just sitting on a warehouse floor somewhere um ready to go and nobody was working on it because they shipped this overnight so i had emailed them like on a friday evening and i got it monday morning or i mean monday i got sometime it got shipped to my house but with that being said sephora vib is my time when i do my stocking up of things i use and it's always almost skincare and this year it was a ton of ordinary skincare because Sephora has brought back the brand, The Ordinary. So we have six months worth here. Let's go. This is huge. This is a 3.3 fluid ounce. This is The Ordinary's Natural Moisturizing Factors plus Hyaluronic Acid. This is an amazing, very lightweight moisturizer. I do feel I still need to cut it though because it's a little bit too thick and rich for even me. Um, it's just very normal skin. I, things just that aren't necessarily thick and rich for other people are very thick and rich for me. So I got two of those, but yeah, this huge 3.3 ounce is like $7 and the one ounce is $5. Do your math. Uh, the next thing I got from The Ordinary was the 100% organic cold press rose hip oil. Um, I usually get their Arjan oil, but they didn't have the Arjan oil available for purchase. So I said, hey, you know what? Let's try the rose hip. Why not? So it comes in your bottle like this. This will honestly last me a whole year. I don't use that much oil. When I'm using it for my face, I'm only using a couple of drops. If I'm using it for my cuticles, I'm only using a couple of drops. So it does take me a long time to go through an oil. Next up is the Ordinary's Ascorbicol Glucoside 12%. This is a vitamin C serum. So I got two of these, of course. Love this. This is really good stuff. And to save time and not pull out every single bottle, all the bottles are the same. They have a little screw off cap that has an eyedropper inside of them the uh ones that will be in a darker color bottle i'll let you know that but now that i spent all that time explaining this to you let's save some time right next up is the lactic acid 10 percent plus hyaluronic acid this is such a really good chemical exfoliator i really really live by this stuff next up here we have the niacinamide 10 percent this is a really really good niacinamide if you have any skin textures or acne or anything like that or you're trying to 
um, make your pores look less visible. This is really kind of your best friend for that. Got two of them. And the last two things I got here from The Ordinary are the Grand Active Retinoid 2% Emulsion. So this is a 2% retinoid that is an emulsion. It is in an ambered color bottle because like vitamin C, you don't want light getting in here and breaking this down. And I got two of those. A heck of a steel deal that they had going on. And I think they still have these available. It is the Pretty in Pink Trio from Beauty Blender. Now, usually when I order, get a Beauty Blender, I get the Pro, which is the black one here. Now, this is not a difference in texture or anything whatsoever. It's the exact same texture as your regular Beauty Blender, but because I use darker pigmented foundations, because my foundations are darker pigmented, this one doesn't stain um, as bad because it's black in color. But I thought, you know, this is a deal. $45, you get all three of them. Three pretty little shades of pink, your classic pink, a lighter pink, and then like a really soft baby pink up here. And I figured, you know, you're basically buy two, get one free, almost. Okay, so you're buying two, paying $5 for one. That's a really, really good steal. So I said, yes, yeah, so I'm definitely gonna grab that. Next thing up I got here is another one of my Laneige lip sleeping mask. I live by this stuff. Um, fun fact, I don't make it through one of these in a year. Um, it's impossible to make it through one of these little guys, one of these pots in a year. I use it at night for sleeping. I also will sometimes use it throughout the day, especially in the winter time, just to kind of put on for a little balm. Comes with this cute little scoopy spatula so that you don't stick your fingers in there. Next up, these are new from Laneige and I really wanted to try this out. This is the Lip Glowy Balm and these come in a couple different flavors. This one here comes in berry. It's kind of got this like little squeezy up here and it comes up. It really doesn't have um, a ton of color to it. I mean, it's a hint of color, just a tinge. And if you wipe it enough, it, that disappears. So it doesn't, it's not like it has a lot of color. It's honestly just kind of a lip balm that, oh, it smells so good. But my whole purpose for this is I prefer to use the fresh lip balms, but they melt in my pocket. So I can't put one of them in my pocket at work. This I can. Next thing I bought was some of my primers. Um, these are the Smashbox Photo Finish Primers. I only buy them in the sample size because honestly, that's it takes me a year to get through a sample size of these little Smashbox primers because I use so very little. So I got the original photo finish because that's kind of like my ride or die when it comes to primers. And then I got the pore minimizing one because I've tried a sample of it. I really do like it. And I'm like, I, let's just get a tube of it. Let's just get a tube of it. So I finally did. Next three up are some lippies I got. I got one of the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouge lipsticks. This one is a limited edition one. Um, and this one is in the shade Smoked Zatar, uh, which um, is just a beautimous, beautimous color. I love it so much. But these were limited edition, but they are still available on Sephora's website. So if you go there, you'll be able to find it. And then I got the Lippy, which is also limited edition, but they are still available. These are the French Press Lip Glosses, and this one is in the shade French Press. It's the shade I didn't have. My daughter has all of them. I did not have all of them. And then last but not least, because again, you know, sometimes I just like to borrow some of my daughter's stuff. Like, she doesn't borrow my things all the time. Anyway, this is the Fenty Gloss Balm, and this is in the shade Fussy, because there's just something about this uh, lip gloss that is just like... It, it's like nothing else. And this shade is just uh, amazing. It's kind of hard to see, of course, with all the lighting, but I love it. And the name of the shade again is Fussy. And then the last thing I got is I went ahead and I grabbed a, I've been, I've gotten a sample of this. Like every single time I go to Sephora, I swear to God, I get a sample of it because I'm like, okay, let me test it out again. Well, I don't know. Let me think. Well, I don't know. Let me think because this is Layla in a bottle. This shade is perfectly my shade, but it is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. This is in the shade 290, which is Layla in a bottle. So if you are my shade, 290 is for you. Just finally broke down and said, you know what? Just get the stink of foundation because you know you love it. And so that is it. That is everything that I have purchased over, I guess the past month, month and a half. Once again, I of course want to thank you so much as always for spending a little bit of your time with me today. I truly, truly do appreciate it. Again, sorry for the hiatus. Now that I'm starting to feel a little bit better though, hopefully I'll be able to get some more videos filmed and out for you guys. And of course, as always, before you leave, make sure that you are subscribed to this here channel. 
definitely don't want to miss out on any videos I have coming up. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.